Hey, good evening guys. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is well. Um, let me go ahead and turn down my ringtone so that's no longer an issue. Okay, sorry about that guys. Um, yeah, so today I really want to go ahead and start talking about some thought-provoking uh, kind of um, topics, alright? So get right into it. When it comes to investing, obviously, there's several different ways that you can go about it. There's multiple options that you can go. Um, I'm going to talk about the ones that I'm heavily involved with. And that's going to be um, pretty much, you know, like the stock market kind of aspect. But more importantly, I want to speak about the skill set itself, right? Investing, what it means, what it is, and which way you can go with it, right? Um, there's several different options you have, different different rep, uh, different avenues you can take, okay? Um, it really depends, like, your risk appetite, your capital, um, your expertise, uh, your general interest, your current mind state. Um, hey, Nicole, how's it going? Um, all of these different attributes, all of these self attributes will really help you contribute to making that that best investing decision for yourself. OK, um, your investment portfolio will become a reflection of the decisions you've made across your, you know, your your lifespan, essentially, because you're going to put money, um, you're putting money into products, and into things that you truly believe in. So long story short. There's a couple different type of investments, you know what I mean? Like you can go to, uh, you can invest money into having your own franchise. Hey, what's up, Nino? How's it going? Thank you. Um, you can you can decide to invest your money into like a franchise of a, a restaurant, you know, like typically I believe I looked it up. It was like a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. You can go in with friends, of course, things of that nature. Um, but those returns to be, you gotta wait for those kind of returns, right? Those type of investments require large capital, okay? Um, but it's a pretty, but the thing about it is, is risks to reward, right? That's that's something that you really want to jot that down as a note. That's something you really want to pay attention to, okay? Is your risk to reward, the duration of that investment, um, but really the risk to reward, okay? Because if you decide to open up, you decide to open up a McDonald's, okay? And you decide to open it up near a college campus. Well, that is a very low risk um, investment. Why? Because it's a high probable profitable item. You know what I mean? Like it may take you five years to make your first dollar or return. It may take you 20 years to, to pay off that, that building, the, the, the property XYZ. But you know that money is going to be there for the next 40 years XYZ because why? Because McDonald's not not going anywhere, and plus you put it in a hot spot. You know, you put it in a college location where there's going to be a high volume traffic, so it's low risk, but again, high capital. So if you fit that particular category at that particular time in your financial uh, state and, and things of that nature, then you can go ahead and make that purchase. But that um that particular investment is is not really uh, easily. It's not really accessible for the most common people, okay? So, it's, and then it can go, that's a little bit on the high side, but then you can go ahead and talk about um, selling ice cream or, or cutting grass for the neighborhood. Things like that are a little bit more easier. Um, they are um, more accessible, but the part with that is the reward isn't as high, you know what I mean? And you're still doing a lot of work. Um, so, so, long story short, you really just want to find what you're comfortable with, what fits your goal, um, and, and that's how I feel about that. <laughs> Bedtime knowledge. That's funny. So one of the ways, um, so one of the one of the ways that I lo truly love to go ahead and invest is going to be in the financial markets. Why? Because it's a high accessibility rate. You know, you can just pick up a phone, you can download an app, and you can start investing literally that fast. Okay. And for me, um, really all it takes is a little bit of education, a little bit of studying, you know, take one to two years to learn a particular skill set and you, your, your flexibility as an investor is like tenfold over anything else. I think, I mean, you can invest in property. Uh, yes, you can invest in, you know, um, other things such as, um, what other investment options like businesses, short-term goals, long-term goals, things of that nature, ROIs, 401ks, 
savings account, CDs. Like there's a lot of things you can put your money in that they're going to return your investment on. Um, but that's a little bit more of the slow money versus where I can show you how to earn 5% every week. Okay. So 5% every week over the course of two to three years, you're over six figures, no matter where you start at, no matter if you start at like, I would say minimum $100. If you have $100, 5% every week over the course of one to two uh, year, two and a half years, you're going to have a large return of investment. 5% every week, 52 weeks in a year, you can do the math. Um, and so imagine investing for yourself for over 10 year span. Like now you're talking about commas, you know what I mean? So that's the real big reason why I love uh, the, invest, uh, the, the uh, financial market for investing because there's a high reward. But I must be honest, there's a little bit more risk, see? So this comes back to doing what fits your personality, right? Um, and so the risk that's involved can be mitigated totally and honestly, 100%, not, not joking. The risk can be mitigated to such a degree that it makes it a high profitable investment portfolio, okay? So what I'm... so. Really, what I teach for my company, a unified trading institute, that's who I represent, we teach technical analysis, and that basically means you're going to be looking at a financial chart, and you're going to learn how to measure price, what we call price action. You're going to learn how to read the candlesticks. You're going to have to learn to use tools like the trend line. Um, you're going to be able to learn how to identify support and resistance. All these terms are affiliated with technical analysis in the financial market. And what I mean by that is the, the one of the greatest and best benefits of this is that you can take this knowledge and use it in any market. Anything that has candlesticks and price and time. So you need those three things. You need a chart. On, the, on your x-axis, you need to have time. And on the y-axis, you need to have price. As long as you have those two items, I can teach you how to how to make a profit. And what I mean by make a profit, I mean turn a dollar out of 15 cents, okay? So, um, because the way it works, you know, as that company, you can buy or sell an instrument, and I call it instrument, could be a stock, a commodity, gas, oil, currency, anything of that nature. Um, you learn how to study the chart, and you can invest in any of those fields. That's how powerful my method is. Only the few things you require is a cell phone. And internet access and the willpower to study 30 minutes to an hour a night you can learn how to read the financial markets and over you give yourself you know um, probably let's just say six months of average six to a year six to twelve months of studying and, and you can be on your way to independently earn five percent every week that's what it's about I'm about creating teachers I'm about creating people how to fish learn uh, allowing people to learn how to fish uh, for themselves so that's really all I had for you guys tonight I do apologize for the delay I had lost track of time and I, I, I'm, I don't know it's no excuse but trust me when I tell you there's a million process thoughts in my head all the time that's where I'm at and uh, <laughs> things will get better I do I, I promise that but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little snippet um, if anybody have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and post them in here. Um, I'll, I'll stay on live here for a few more seconds to see if there's any questions. Other than that, if you're watching the rewind of this, just go ahead and leave a comment below and thank you very much. Please share this with your friends and families. Uh, take care, Kings and Queens. Have a good one. Bye.